All right, guys. So right now I'm down at the stream. Got a bucket and a net with me. I'm gonna try to catch some crayfish or catch some creatures. See what I can find. It's like 90. It's like a 90 degree day. So this stream, I bet it's gonna be cold, but I bet it will feel great. Just listen to that. Look how pretty it is down there. Up oh, there goes a crow and a little bird. Look how clear this water is. Me and Josh have been fishing down here a couple times. Climb on the wall. We'll climb right there on the ledge. Try to catch some chubs. I think that's what they're called that we usually try to catch. There's, there's a dead crayfish down there, by the way. If you guys live in the south, you probably call them crawfish. See some minnows. Let's see how cold this is. It's not terrible. Not awful. Gonna fill up the bucket, obviously, with water. There is our bucket filled with water. I might put like a rock or two in. Just so the crayfish can have a habitat. Got the rock. The crayfish should have enough room to navigate around that. That would be cool if we catch a minnow, but I think the holes might be too big in the net. Guys, there is a massive crayfish right down there. Well, not massive, but... He's big. Hopefully, catch it. I know just how to do it. Put the net behind it. And hopefully, scare it in. I think my GoPro scares it in. Alright guys, look, it looks like he's missing a pincher, but we're going to put him in. Hold on, I might have to do this off camera. Alright, we got him in the net there, he's in the shade. He's right there, that is a pretty big one for the first crayfish. gonna look for more around this area then I might make my way just right up there where it's calmer guys look at all the minnows down there I'm trying to catch one with the net it might be hard but they're just they're just chilling right here Guys, there's no way I just did that. I just caught a minnow. The, all the minnows were like right in one spot. Looks like possibly a trout. Gonna go put it in the net, but all the minnows were in one spot. I just randomly swooped my net down and all of a sudden I lifted it up and I saw something flopping in there and it was a minnow. <laughs> That's really cool. I think they're a little trout maybe gonna put it in the net all right he is swimming happy with the crayfish that's so cool now we got a crayfish and a minnow I can assure you there is something hiding in that cone maybe there are some pretty big fish right over there in the shade You guys see anything in there comment down below if you could gonna make my way up to this calm spot now gonna leave the bucket right there nobody should come down and get it or try to steal it
But anyway, guys, like I said before, the water is not that cold. It's like medium. Kind of in between bath water and freezing. It's chilly, but it's not numbing cold. I was expecting it to be, like, numbing cold. And anyway, guys, I just realized today is the first day of summer. The season of summer has officially began. Look at all those minnows. Some ducks could possibly pass by. Could possibly see a snake somewhere. Or a turtle. Alright guys, there's a crayfish right down there. Or there was. Anyway, I'm going to lift up that rock. This one right down there. See if he's under there. And if he is, I'm going to catch it. He just made his way under here. I feel a little hard to get. He made his, like, somewhere under here. Gonna lift up a few. Oh shoot, he's right there now. Well, he's gonna go downstream. Probably. I'm not gonna be able to get him, I'm not stepping over that rock where... That rock looks slippery and it looks like a small crevice. Find another one. I promise. This is so fun. Stream walking, I love it. So relaxing hearing all the water sounds. Do I try to catch another minnow? That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? That would be really cool. Alright, I think we are going to let go our crayfish and our minnow. Crayfish is down there and the minnow is somewhere near him. There's an ant right there. Get away, ant. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to put the rock. I don't want to hurt the minnow. Minnow's under it. It's the minnow. I don't want to squish the minnow. I don't think I will. Okay, good. Just gonna toss the rock. Jeez. <laughs> just gonna put the crayfish. You know, we're just gonna dump the bucket and watch them swim off and have a happy life. Bye, crayfish. Bye, minnow. <laughs> There's a dead crayfish right down here. Wonder what happened to him. There goes our crayfish that we caught. Bye, buddy. Bye, Minnow, wherever you went. I'll definitely come down here more to see what I can catch. To catch some more minnows and crayfish in the future. This summer, obviously. I have so fun doing this. Probably title this video, Exploring for Stream Creatures or Creek Creatures. I am going to go up. I'm going to go up to the wall. Not this wall, but the other one. And I'm gonna look to see if I can see any ducks. See some ducks down there. I know one spot that there might be a snake. Look right down there on that pretty big rock. There's a big water snake down there. I'm pretty sure they're called milk snakes or something like that. That is pretty cool. Usually, well, <laughs> when I was little and I used to come down here, I, I used to see a snake all the time on these rocks. Guess he's still alive, which is really cool. I love snakes. Snakes are such a fascinating reptile. 
I know that some people might be afraid of them, but they're really cool. Look, he's just living a happy life down there. Now I'm a fan of hot weather, so 90 degrees is great. <laughs> that snake is also a fan of hot weather because he's just sunning away. He's just getting his sun tans. <laughs> 